tutorial for Noco HQ and in today's tutorial we want to present you our new plugin OCR. What is OCR? Well basically OCR is a method of extracting text from an image and then directly having these texts and being able to work with these texts. And there's obviously lots of different APIs available and different applications which offer OCR. But what we did, we built a plugin which basically allows you to have an OCR functionality within your Bubble app without using any other external services. We did that by using a JavaScript library that we fully integrate into Bubble, which basically does all the calculations, all the rendering within the browser itself. So your data, your images never leave your Bubble app everything is calculated within um, your Bubble application. So all you have to do is install the plugin, which is available in the pl uh, Bubble plugin store. It's called OCR image to text. Once you install, you can see already you have uh, access to three different things. You have the element called OCR, an action, which is image to text and the event OCR done. Okay, so let's take a look at how this is set up. We have our Bubble demo editor here. And right now I just have a button here, okay? And let's take a look at what this button does. So when I start edit this workflow, we have this action called image to text OCR. So how do you have access to that? Well, I'm gonna build a whole new thing with that. So let, let me just delete everything here, okay? So what will you have to do? First of all, you have to search for the OCR element. I have two here right now because one is a test version, but you wanna use the OCR element okay and just drag it onto your page this is a very small element which will not be visible in your actual application it just has to be somewhere on the page and make sure it's vis visible on page load after dragging this element onto your page you will have access to the action i showed you before so let's re-add this button here okay and let's say this button says extract uh, text okay we want to start editor workflow and then under element actions under ocr we have this action called image to text ocr Okay, and there's just two parameters you have to enter. First of all, the language of the text within the image. So you have to define that before and you can uh, take a look at all the language codes under this URL here. We're going to stay with English right now. Okay, but uh, the plugin supports a lot of other uh, and the library supports a lot of other languages. And you will want to enter the actual image file um, from which the text should be extracted. Okay. Um, supported is uh, PNG and uh, let, let me check PNG, JPEG, BMP and PBM. Um, all right, so you could either obviously use a static file or in this case, a dynamic link, which will be the, in this case, I added a picture uploader here with a default image and the picture uploader, we can use that as a dynamic link. So picture uploaders value. Okay, so we now use the image, whatever image is within the picture uploader. Okay. Obviously, you could also do something like current user's image or current user's, um, I don't know, uploaded image. You can um, obviously enter any dynamic image here. Okay, so what will happen now? Well, the um, the plugin will do the work and try to uh, extract the text from the image. But obviously, this will take some time, depending on how big uh, the, the image is or how much text there is, uh, it could take more or less time. So how do you know when the process is done? Well, basically, when the process is done, under elements here, you can... Uh, uh, get this event here, this is triggered, OCR done. So you, this is triggered once the OCR calculation is finished and then you can do a subsequent workflow. So one thing you can do, for example, what we did before here, we added this pop-up here, pop-up A, which just says uh, loading, okay? And then what I can do, all right, so I have this pop-up here called loading, I can say, all right, so when we click this button, we wanna get image to text and we also wanna show this pop-up pop-up A, our loading pop-up, and then we only want to close this pop-up once this event is triggered, which is when the OCR calculation is done. Then we want to hide our pop-up again. So you can kind of create a, a double workflow here, which opens and closes the pop-up, only closes it once the actual image has, uh, the text has been extracted, extracted from the image, okay? So uh, last thing now is where do we have the access to the text? Well, quite simple, just by using this element state. So you can say, okay, uh, OCRA's result and this is the text basically that's extracted and obviously you could do things like here where we hide the pop-up you could also say all right uh, once the text extracted make changes to thing and then may maybe make changes to current user and then sets whatever you want to set to the um, OCR um, result uh, to basically result um, resulted extracted text all right so uh, that's basically let's just preview that to see if everything works out just to summarize now we have a picture uploader here we have our button here with the action we have the result and we have a pop-up showing uh, while the whole thing is loading and we here have um, a standard um, I had already placeholder image we can take a look at that actually let me just copy this here 
um, or click on see here. So you can see I upload this image here on Bubble. So it's an image, not a text. Um, and this image contains text, obviously. And now if I click here on extract text, we get the loading pop up a few seconds and should close soon. Awesome, it closed. And in this second, we have the um, result, which is 100% correct the um, actual yeah result of, of this image the extracted text and as mentioned you can use uh, all kinds of images um, just be aware the more complex the image gets um, if it's very colorful and only small text and here and there um, there might be some um, um, yeah small um, issues and small mistakes here and there but in general especially if, you, if someone just makes a photo of a page for example with text on it and you extract the text uh, it usually works quite quite well. And also, don't forget to uh, specify the real language code. So, for example, if you want to extract something in Spanish, you will have to want to use the uh, Spanish language code. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um, very simple, but quite powerful for uh, some use cases. Maybe uploading invoices, maybe um, uh, an image of an invoice and then extracting the data and doing all kinds of stuff. So, um, yeah, interesting plugin. Um, and that's basically it regarding this video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Um, otherwise, I'm going to see you guys for the next tutorial of NoCoHQ. Bye.